you know, there's so many different types of plastics on the market. Some are long action tails, worms, um, all kinds of minnow imitation, a lot of crawdads. Some are meant to be tipped on a flipping jig or put on a spoon. Others rig Texas rig like I have here. What we found fishing for these bowfin is that you don't want a long plastic. I started off with about a six inch worm and it just didn't seem to work. And James had really good luck on a crawfish imitation, only about four, four to five inches long. So what I did was switch to a crawfish imitation. This one is about five inches long, and you can see that I've rigged it Texas rig with a screw lock sinker. So I'm just gonna unscrew it for you so you can see it. So for those of you that use a lot of um, plastic worms or plastics and you use these bullet sinkers, in the old days you used to put a toothpick in there, and some people still do. I like using the screw locks where you actually push it in, turn it, and then there's no way that it can come out even after you land a fish, but the line still goes through it right to the hook. The hook is very large, so it's actually the length of this five inch piece of plastic. And what we found was that we had more hookups if we kept the hook just riding on the plastic. So you see it there, it's totally exposed, but you slide the plastic up so that it's parallel to the plastic, but I can still catch my skin on it. If we put the hook inside like you would normally for bass and other species of fish, a lot of times we miss the fish. I have a feeling it's because the inside of the bow Bowfin's mouth has no contours. There's no jaw contour. It's all smooth. So when it does close its mouth on the plastic and you pull on it, there isn't a jaw that hangs down or that sticks up from the bottom where it can catch on, break through the plastic and hook into the fish. So definitely if you're going to try it, your shot at getting bowfin, make sure that the hook is exposed. Now most of the plastics that I was using were Trigger X and that's them here in all different configurations. Now there are a lot of scented plastics on the market, but Trigger X is actually pheromone impregnated. And if you ever want to smell something interesting, just open one of their Ziplocs take a whiff. I can't exactly explain it to you, but it's a very interesting smell. And you can see that this is the three inch, it's the flipping craw, but I also rigged this up. I had my first few fish on the little three inch flipping craw, just with a Texas rig hook and a little bullet sinker. I think for the bowfin, the smaller and more compact your plastic, the best chance is that for you to actually hook that fish. Now tubes are always good to use. We've had a few fish on tubes and then also smaller pieces of worms like these Trigger X worms here. These are about five or six inch but we were cutting them down. So all of these will work well. The key is to spot these fish and try to get your grub in front of them even to the point of shaking it. So they seem to be very dopey. They're like a snake. They'll sit there. Sometimes their head is inside the weeds and you got to drop your grub right in front of them through the weeds, other times they're moving. But it seems like they won't chase a bait. Sometimes they'll move three, four, five inches and you know that they're excited and their dorsal fin starts to wave like this. And sometimes their little pectorals start to move. And then they'll just come up and snap it. And that's a real problem because they don't hit and go like most fish. So when they snap at it and just sit there, that's when you gotta set the hook. Otherwise you miss the fish. I'll tell you, there are fish that very few people know, but they're a lot of fun and very challenging to catch.